Thank you for stopping by Colorful Truth for a little couponing on the classy side. Before we get started, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. And guess what? They reset some of the rebates on Ibotta. So we're also headed into Walmart. See you in the store. What's funny is it's raining out here off and on. It is really not the best weather, but there is no stopping a person when they have couponing on the agenda. And of course, we have to check out this clearance section. A really good deal. It took $2.76 and uh, we have a, a dollar off coupon. And we also have a dollar rebate coming back from Ibotta. So that makes it 76 cents, which is a great deal. It's the Snuggle Refresher Spray, which is something like Febreze, but it's a great deal. Ooh, Peekaboo, I see you. So shout out to Nene Coupons for sharing this wonderful deal. She's such a lovely lady. She is here on YouTube as well. But... The U by Kotex is $0.84 cents at Walmart, and Ibotta is giving back a dollar rebate. So that's about a $0.16 cent moneymaker, and Ibotta is allowing you to do up to five of them. So grab five, pay for them, and get your dollar back for e each one of them, which is a wonderful deal. Um, if you're not up on Ibotta, you better get up on it. They just added a new bonus for midweek, which gives us even more money as we're accumulating these deals. Uh, so get to Ibotta. You need to keep up or catch up. Okay, so I spoke about the Ibotta rebate resets. And one of the resets happened to be uh, BIC. However, I didn't have coupons uh, to do, do that deal, unfortunately. The other rebate that reset was a Schick for women, uh, which was originally a moneymaker, but when they reset it, they reset it for a lower amount. So it would have costed about a dollar out of pocket, which was no longer a good deal for me. The other reset was great. It, it's on the Snuggle. So um, if you can find the Snuggle with the peelies on them, the three-pack has a $4 peely and the 5-pack has a $5 peely. The 5-pack is uh, $9.97 at Walmart and you use the $5 peely on it and it will cost you $4.97 and you will get back a $5 rebate from that from Ibotta. Uh, then the 3-pack, $6.48 at Walmart, you use the $4 peely and so that will cost you $2.48 at Walmart and you will get back a three dollar rebate from Ibotta which is a money maker these these are great great deals and I was so happy they reset uh, the other reset was on the Rubbermaid now originally I was buying the ice tray at Walmart uh, and that is $1.99, $1.97 at Walmart and you use our dollar coupon off of Rubbermaid and you will pay um, the 97 cents, then you will get back a dollar from Ibotta, which makes them free. Wonderful deal. Uh, but this time I decided to go to Meyer and pick up the Mixer Mate. And the Mixer Mate, people say, is at Walmart as well in this size, the smaller size. Um, however, um, I haven't been able to find that Mixer Mate at Walmart, but they are at Meyer's. And so if you go to Meyer and they should be, they, they are, they should be um, in the, like in the kitchen section, and they are $1.99, and you use the same, it's the exact same coupon for the ice tray as for the Mixer Mate, and you, it's $1.99, you use your dollar coupon, pay $0.99 cents out of pocket, and get back a dollar from Ibotta. This has reset at least three times, and that's a fantastic deal. The other products are... From the Walgreens glitch today, um, I am, I guess, a scaredy cat. I don't know. Um, I was worried that um, if I hold on to those register rewards or 
Walgreens, coupons, whatever you want to call them. I was concerned that would they decide not to honor them because so many people were doing them. I'm sure that's a lot of money um, that it's costing the company. But not only that, I witnessed a lady that was in front of me. She must have done the deal well over 20 times, but at the same store. And so with people, um, you know, doing it in that way, um, I'm sure, you know, Walgreens is getting upset. And I, I, I just don't know. And so I wasn't sure if they will honor all of our coupons when we come back to um, use them. And so I'm, they probably will. You know, um, I, you know, I don't know anything about it. They probably will. Um, so I'm not saying that they won't. I'm not telling, trying to advise anyone. But for me, I wanted to be on the safe side. So I decided to turn my uh, coupons into um, points. So that's what I did. And here's how I did that. Just as a side note, when you shop at Walmart with coupons, you cannot have more coupons than the amount of items you have. Therefore, if you have more coupons, then if, for example, if you have four coupons, you're trying to use, uh, use them on two items, then you need to pick up two filler items so that you have the same amount of coupons as items. You can have more items than coupons, but you cannot have more coupons than the items that you're trying to purchase. Therefore, this Tic Tac gum was on clearance for nine, 19 cents. So it was a perfect filler item for me when I had more coupons than the items that I was purchasing. So that's how that works. Just wanted to throw that in there. Um, I did have uh, quite a few of these Tic Tacs to be able to use as fillers. And then when they ran out and when I went to the second store, I just used noodles, which were uh, 49 cents a pack of noodles uh, as my filler item so that I'm not paying too much. Um, on that filler. You're trying to find the cheapest filler item as possible because you cannot have more coupons than the items that you're ringing up. And amazingly, the way the glitch worked for me was that all I had to do was buy a bottle of Mountain Dew and I would receive back $4 coupon and a $3 coupon to use later. So that's all I had to do, and I, you know, we drink Mountain Dew, and so it was a smart deal for us to go ahead and buy the Mountain Dews instead of buying, you know, a pack of candy or whatever. So um, I ended up with a bunch of Mountain Dews that I would have already bought anyways, and a bunch of coupons to. So that's what I was working with: four dollar coupons and three dollar coupons. Now I'll show you how I converted everything into points and so products. So I focus in on finding a deal that I had quick access to coupons to do the deal. And that would be the Big Soleil, which was spend 15, get 5,000 points, which is $5 in points. So I used three of the $3 off uh, manufacturer coupons that we have. I was concerned about not meeting the threshold of the $15. So instead of buying two, three at $4.99, which wouldn't be $15, I bought two at $4.99 and one at $5.99. Use the $3 off coupons and this store actually let me use two of the glitch coupons. Um, so I also had the $4 off and the $3 off from the glitch. And so all I had to pay for was my filler items and tax and I got back the 5,000 points. So that ended up being a great deal because I don't have to worry about the points expiring. I don't have to worry about anybody shunning me for trying to use uh, those coupons, those glitch coupons, um, or them not accepting them or whatever the case may be. So that's a done deal. I have my points. It's, it's golden. So the second store was an entirely different story. They said absolutely no way will they accept two Walgreens coupons in one transaction. They called them Walgreens coupons. That's what I'll call them from here on out. So they said that the register will only accept one. That's all they can do for me. Before I knew that, I had already rang up uh, these two Colgate toothbrushes trying to do the Colgate deal where you buy two and you get back 4,000 points. 
and these are $3.99 each, which makes them $7.98 total. And so my plan changed uh, right at the register. So um, I did have a digital coupon, a dollar digital coupon that came off of that. So instead of the $7.98, it made them $6.98. And so I was able to use one of the Walgreens coupons, which was $4.00. But that left me a, to uh, a total still of $3 that I ended up having to pay out of pocket. I wasn't so upset about having to pay that out of pocket because I had gained all these points off of the razors for free. You know, it, it had been a good day. So paying this $3 out of pocket wasn't a good deal. And I mean, it wasn't a bad thing. Plus, I was still getting back 4,000 points for it. So it was good. It was okay. So I did that deal, and after that, after I realized they weren't going to um, do it the same way, th they said that the other store should not have been accepting two coupons and this and that, I decided to go ahead and move on from trying to accumulate more points and go ahead and get paper towels because we need paper towels at the house anyways. So I decided to use some of those points that I had accumulated because I accum accumulated um, well over 20,000 points. So I, I decided to go ahead and um, use some of those and get some paper towels. So the Scott paper towels is buy one get one half off. They are five dollars which even by themselves is a great deal. But we have 50 cent off coupons to go with that. Some people have dollar off coupons. But we have 50 cent off coupons to go with this deal. So I did two separate transactions at $7.50 each for two paper towels. Um, used two 50 cent off coupons, makes them $6.50. Used um, my $4 Walgreens coupon because um, I still had plenty left. Used um, that. And then... I used points, and obviously the points covered uh, some of my tax. I didn't know that that happens, but um, obviously it did because my total, I ended up being able to use $3 in points, and my total was $0.11 cents for both packs of Scott Paper Tops, which was a wonderful deal, um, a wonderful way to use those points, and um, it just was a good day. So I did this deal twice, have all the paper towels I need now, and I ended the day with around 17,000 points, and I still have a few of those Walgreens coupons, which I will I'll be using the rest of them today on things we need around the house. I hope this video helps someone. Please take a minute to subscribe.